The Supreme Court is yet to take off after six women rights groups moved to court to question the composition of the seven-judge court. They insist that having only two women out of the seven violates the constitutional provision that not more than two-thirds of all appointive and elective positions shall be from one gender. With the case still unresolved, the Supreme Court remains in limbo despite the heavy workload that awaits it. Opinion is divided on when Kenyans will go to the polls or when the life of the 10th parliament comes to an end, while the Constitution Implementation Committee insists that the next general election should be held in August next year. Another school of thought argues that Kenyans should go to the polls in December next year. Once it is in operation, the Supreme Court will also be expected to handle the dispute over whether cabinet ministers should hold positions in political parties. The Constitution Implementation Committee has insisted that cabinet ministers being appointed state officers should not hold political party positions, a stand that has ruffled feathers within the political arena. There are those who refuse to accept that old has gone, that new has come. The operative word here is appointed. It is therefore my understanding that an elected state officer is not prohibited from holding an office in a political party. Once the controversy on the five judges is resolved and they are sworn in, taxation of monthly allowances earned by members of the 10th parliament is yet another major controversy that the court will be expected to rule on with a finality. Members of parliament opposed to taxation on their allowances have argued that it was unjustified as it amounted to an ambush with their five-year term. You cannot change terms of, terms of employment or taxation of members of parliament and other office holders midway through before the term ends. The Supreme Court will comprise Chief Justice Dr. Willy Mutunga and his Deputy Nancy Baraza, who will be the court's president and vice president respectively. The five judges whose appointment has been contested by women rights groups are Njo Kindongo, Professor Jack Tono Juang, Dr. Smokin Wanjala, Philip Tunoi, and Ibrahim Mohammed. The Supreme Court will have exclusive jurisdiction to hear and determine all petitions arising out of a presidential election. It will also be the appellate court of last resort and the highest court in the land whose decisions are binding on all courts. Francis Gashore Sunday Live.